word for the year is simplify. I just want to simplify things, make my life easier, simplify my home, and get rid of all the clutter, get rid of things I don't need. So I am going to start in my kitchen. I've already done Amelia's toys. I have already done the pantry. I've decluttered it. Got rid of food that we were not gonna eat uh, before it expired so that someone else could use that food. So my first tip for decluttering your kitchen is to make sure all the dishes are clean before you start because if you don't, you're going to open the dishwasher after you're done and you're like, oh my goodness, I had this, this, and this in here. I should have gotten rid of that or whatever. I do have a dishwasher full of dishes that need to be put away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away where it's supposed to be. There are a few things in the sink that are dirty that I don't usually put in the dishwasher or it wouldn't fit or we used it today. And make sure your countertops are as cleared off as they can be so that you have an area to put your dishes and things out so you can look at everything and see what you wanna get rid of. I recommend having a donate box, bag, whatever it is you want to put the items that you're getting rid of. If it's glass dishes, you know, you want to make sure it's a box. You want to make sure that you have um, newspaper or whatever to wrap it up so if you're donating it, it doesn't get broken on the way to your donation site, wherever it is you're taking it. I have some Ray Dunn dishes that I am going to try and sell. So I'm needing to make a box to sell things but I'm gonna give it an expiration date. Like if it doesn't sell within a couple of months, I'm gonna put it out in the garage. If it doesn't sell within a couple of months, then it's gonna go to the care center or the women's care center somewhere. I don't wanna keep it. If it doesn't sell, I need to get it out. I need to set that expiration date. So again, the first tip would be to make sure all your dishes are clean and put away before you start. The second thing is make sure you have a donate box, a throwaway box, your box that you're wanting to get rid of, but you want to sell it. You wanna to try to sell it before you donate. Also, if you are someone that gets overwhelmed very easily, you may not want to pull every single thing out of all of your cabinets at one time. Start with one cabinet at a time. Start with one drawer, maybe two drawers at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the dishes away and then I'm gonna get started. I am probably, that's my husband texting, saying he is on his way home from work. <laughs> I am probably going to just do a couple of cabinets at a time only because I don't have a whole lot of countertop space to pull everything out. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to point out the organizer that I'm putting the silverware in. I got this for Christmas as well as the silverware, thanks to my sister-in-law. I had it on my Amazon wish list. This saves so much space in my drawers. I don't have a very big kitchen. I don't have a lot of drawers for my utensils. So this really helps a lot. So if you have an apartment or you have a smaller kitchen like I do, Go ahead and check this out. I'll have the link down in the description. It really saves a lot of room and it just makes things look a lot neater. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh yeah, but somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed. Okay, so here is what I'm hoping to accomplish. In this drawer, I want to be able to put all of my glass containers, put the lids on them, and be able to put them over in the drawer. I don't know if they're all gonna fit that way or not, and I'm not getting rid of any of these because I do a lot of meal prep. I do a lot of freezer cooking. Those dishes can go in the freezer, they can go in the oven. Um, like I said, my idea of minimalism is gonna be different from yours. I can't stress that enough. If you are starting a minimalism journey, keep that in mind. I just, I cannot stress that enough. Do not 
think that you have to be like everybody else and get rid of everything and have just like the bare, bare minimum. If you cook a lot, if you meal prep a lot, you keep what you need to keep. So let's see if I can get it that way. If not, I will be happy if I can just get them all stacked up like that. These are all the lids that go to those. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm just gonna play around with it and see what I can get it to look like. with the lids on but I had to stack them inside each other um, and then I have some containers that are in the refrigerator that are being used so I'm not sure if it's gonna work out this way but you can see how high I can stack it up because they are very deep drawers and they have this bar here so they're not gonna fall out of the drawer even if I stack another one here so I don't know if this is gonna work. This might get a little annoying every time I need a small one. I have to pull this out, pull out, pull out another one. I don't know, we'll try it and see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I can always change it and come up with a different plan. So we'll see. Can we just open up? Cause I got to know if you feel the things I do. I need some help if you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky and I'm sitting a little high on you Still a little high on you For so long get the spices out of here. Uh, I know that there are probably half of these, maybe maybe a little less, that I don't use and I bought for specific recipes and I just don't need it. Um, so I'm going to clear these out and I want to show you what I have that I'm going to use to get these out of my drawer. So I had these on my Amazon wish list, and my mother-in-law bought them for me for Christmas. They go on the inside of your cabinet doors, or you could put them on your walls, wherever you want them. They came with little screws if you wanted to screw them in. I'm not going to screw them in because I change things a lot, <laughs> so I don't want to put holes in my cabinet doors. Um, but it, they also come with the sticky stuff on the back, the 3M sticky stuff. You get five uh, little slots to hold spices, and it came with four of those. So that's 20 jars of spices that I can get up off of a counter or out of the drawer. So where I'm going to put them here on this cabinet, and I'm gonna have to level it and do all that stuff, clean this off. And then I'm gonna use this bottom shelf for the rest of the spices. I had ordered something on Amazon that it, it held your spices and it was like a little shelf and it went, it went back and around and came up this way. And I ordered it on Prime Day 
and it was delivered, well, it was out for delivery, but then I got a message saying they couldn't complete the delivery. They had to send it back. Item was damaged or something. I don't know. So I didn't get it. Um, I am going to look around the house and see if maybe I have like a little box or something that I can put back here and stack them just so they're not like one right in front of the other and I can't see what I have in the back, but see if I have something that will like use it like a little riser and put them in here that way. But I'm hoping that once I go through all of these spices, I'm not gonna have a ton of them because there's no sense in having them in the drawer. If I don't even use them, they're just going bad and they're gonna expire. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. rubbed sage was the oldest thing that I found in my spice cabinet or spice drawer. It expired June 16th, 2014. I think it's time to toss it. <laughs> Everything that was expired and needs to go in the garbage. All right, so this is the spice drawer used to be. I went ahead and cleaned it out. I am now going to move all of my dish towels up to this drawer so that it's easier, it's closer to the sink. And then this drawer is my um, dish rags or dish cloths that I wash dishes with. These are our cloth napkins. They are just a terry cloth and uh, my sister-in-law made them for me. Just use those every day for napkins instead of paper towels. I love it. I like this better than using um, like actual cloth napkins. I feel like these just absorb and gets the stuff off your hands better than regular cloth napkins that you can buy in the store. And then these are my microfiber cloths that I use to clean my stainless steel, clean windows, whatever. And these are the um, glass polishing cloths that I use to polish my stainless steel appliances and things. So these are gonna stay here. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of these because I only wash kitchen towels once a week. And I'm not going to increase how many times I wash kitchen towels. I wash them separately. I don't wash them with my bath towels because I don't want hair and stuff getting on my kitchen towels. I, I know I'm crazy. I have a hair phobia thing, but anyways, I'm not getting rid of any of these and I'm not getting rid of any of these unless they are like really badly stained up or they have holes in them or something. This one is for when I do my food photography for, um, my Watts for Dinner videos and things. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. All right, so I am all done with the kitchen. This is everything that I am getting rid of. So I'm just gonna go through it kinda quickly. I have a couple of oven mitts. I put these down in the drawer for Jason to use when he's smoking stuff out on the smoker but he ended up getting another mitt that has um, silicone on it, the silicone mitt, so we don't need these. They haven't been used in I don't know how long, so I'm getting rid of them. This set of dishes, I love them and I'm keeping some of them, but the problem with these is it's that, what's it called, melamine or something like that. You can't put it in the microwave. Um, you're supposed to only put it on the top rack of the dishwasher, which I don't do, but I didn't realize that you couldn't put it in the microwave whenever I bought them. So I'm gonna get rid of them. I do still have, I think 
four or six. I think I have six left in the cabinet uh, just because I don't have anything else to use right now. And then here's just some stainless steel bowls. This little thing was from Pampered Chef. It's neat. I used to use it a lot, but I haven't used it in a while. So I am going to get rid of it. Um, what it does is it you cut your veggies and it makes it look like a crinkle cut, like your carrots and zucchini. You know what? I use a knife for that. <laughs> and then a thermos, and I got another thermos, and my a tea thing. Um, all of this Ray Dunn stuff, I am going to put it on Facebook Marketplace and try to sell it before I just donate it. There's large dinner plates. There's only two. I only had four of those, I think, or maybe six. I don't remember. I did keep some of these in the cabinet because, like I said, you can't microwave these, and I need some type of glass plate that I can microwave. What I want is a set of dishes that you can microwave, you can put it in the dishwasher, but it's not this stoneware stuff. I know it's out there, but I can't find anything that I like, but that's what I'm looking for. That's what we always had growing up as kids, and it was nice because like, if you scooted it on the counter, it you didn't have to worry about it scratching or anything. It was nice and smooth on the bottom. That's what I want, but I haven't found anything pattern wise or anything that I want. So anyways, getting rid of all this, gonna try to sell it first. All the Ray Dunn stuff I'm gonna try to sell first. Um, this pineapple core, I've used it a couple of times, but I really don't buy pineapples that often. For I mean, this is a big item that's taking up a lot of space in my drawer that I don't really have that much space to begin with. I liked it, it was nice. But I also felt like it kind of wasted a lot of pineapple whenever you used it because there would still be like a lot of, of good pineapple left on the pilling. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'll just use a knife from now on. Um, I have two glasses. These steak knives, I probably should actually just throw these away. I think that's what I'll do. These are super old. These came from my dad's house when he passed away. I don't need them. I have never used them, especially since Jason got me a new set. I have not used them. No sense in having them. These, I love these and I kept four of them. I got these on Amazon and I bought them to do like whenever I drink iced coffee in the summer. I love these for that. And it also came with this kind of lid and I was using them for overnight oats and things like that. But I don't need eight of them and I couldn't find a four piece set on Amazon when I was looking. So I went ahead and got the eight piece. I don't need the eight piece. So I'm gonna get rid of the four. They come with straws, which I'm missing. Well, now I'm missing two straws. Did Amelia take one? <laughs> I thought I was only missing one straw, and now I have two of them don't have a straw. I wonder if Amelia came in here and took one. I don't know, she likes these straws, but I have the, the other straws and the other ones in the cabinet. I don't know. This thing is a cookie press um, icing type thing. I like it, I used to use it a lot whenever I would make deviled eggs. I have a pretty little fancy design on the, the yellow part of the deviled egg. But um, it's kind of cumbersome to put the stuff down in here. And if I'm going to do something like that, if I'm going to ever decorate a cake, which I haven't ever really decorated a cake, I'm just going to use um, like a piping bag or something, something that doesn't take up quite as much space. And actually, I, did, I forgot, it is broken. It's supposed to have a little... Um, top on there, but getting rid of it. Uh, this, Amelia has a really hard time opening it and closing it. Um, I don't know. We just don't need it. And then the Bento, the purple one, I think I mentioned it earlier. She had a hard time opening this one and the containers or the little sections is kind of too small now for the lunches that I pack her, so that's gonna go. 
these are going to go, I did have three out, but then when I was looking at it, one of them was completely broken on the inside. So I went ahead and threw that away. So there's only two of these now. And I went through my cookbooks. Um, this one came with my Ninja. I've never used it. I don't need it. This I did buy. I liked some of the recipes, but I'm picky about my cookbooks. I like cookbooks, pictures for every recipe. This one does not. It has a few pictures, but not on every page. I don't know if it costs more money to publish a cookbook with pictures on every page. I have no idea. I've never written a cookbook, but I just, I can't get into using it if it doesn't have pictures of what I'm supposed to be making. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one came with my Alec Holmes air fryer. I've never made, I think I made one thing out of it. Um, getting rid of that. This one I purchased and some of the recipes are good, but uh, I don't know, I just don't need it. I don't need all of these cookbooks. So this is everything that I'm getting rid of. Now I'm gonna take you through and show you the final product <laughs> of my cabinets. I'm gonna start with this one here. This one I think is my favorite. Look at that. Look at that. I love those little spice things, the little holders, love it. Um, so I just have my mixing bowls there and here's where I'm gonna put the rest of my spices. I, I'm i gonna figure something out. I just have them, there's a basket back there. Ones that I don't use all the time are down in the basket and like these we use a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure something out. I may go ahead and try to order that one thing. Kind of makes a U shape and it's a two tier or it's like a little shelf. You can put spices at the top and then down at the bottom. I may order that, I'm not sure. So that is that one. And then over the stove, that is the basket of lids. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that or not. I don't use lids a whole lot, but I don't wanna get rid of them either for those rare occasions that I do use the lids. So, and it being up here in the cabinet really doesn't bother me because nobody is going to get those and use them. And then that is our medicine basket uh, or medicine bin. It's got like Tylenol, cough syrup, that type of stuff in that. And I like to keep it up high just so the kids don't get into it. And it does have some prescription medication in it. So I definitely don't want them in that. I have my um, casserole dishes up there. And then these are some of the Ray Dunn plates that I did keep in the bowls. These are really nice. We eat salads out of those a lot. So I wanted to keep all of those. These, I'm keeping them until I can find a nice set of dishes like what I was talking about that's solid on the bottom. It's not this stoneware ceramic stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> and then these are those um, dishes that I can't put in the microwave. These are just little cheapo plastic bowl, not plastic, I don't know what this is. I guess it's plastic, but you can microwave it, dishwasher it, dishwash it. Um, I really like these. If the kids drop them, they're not gonna break. They were super cheap, like 90, 97 cents or something each. I have four of those and I actually thought about getting plates and that just be our dishes. I am at that point in my life that I don't need fancy dishes. I really don't care. The only people that come over to eat usually is family. If I do have a party or something, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna use paper plates. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm really thinking about going and just getting these. The only problem, they do kind of stain. So if you had like spaghetti, which what's missing here are the plates that we use for spaghetti. It's um, these plates. I had eight of them. They're from Pampered Chef. I don't need eight, so I'm keeping four, getting rid of four, but that's what goes here. They're actually in the dishwasher. I did, it is late now. It's like nine o'clock, so I did have to stop and cook dinner, but uh, that's what we keep right there it are the spaghetti dishes. So I have my iron skillets back there. 
And in this one, I put my cutting board in here and my tea kettle, and that's it. That is it. I can't believe that's all that is in here. And then just hanging here are my pot holders that I like to use. And then over here is our pots and pans and all the skillets and stuff. And that right there is a, it's actually supposed to hold a tablet, but I use it for my cookbooks and recipes whenever I'm cooking. It holds that nicely. And I got that from Hobby Lobby. If anybody's wondering, I put the vinyl on it. It says you all come eat. <laughs> so that is all that's here. Now this I did change a little bit from the beginning of me starting. I was going to get rid of that bowl, but then I thought, you know, whenever we do have Christmas and stuff like that, I use that sometimes for um, side dishes. So I did go ahead and keep that. And then all of my I got rid of my coffee bar it's no longer over where it used to be so I use this whole shelf for all my extra little bags of coffee and my coffee filters and then this shelf is just coffee mugs I'm keeping four of my Ray Dunn mugs this mug I have had since I was in high school my aunt bought this for me because I love Dalmatians I loved the 101 Dalmatian movie. And then I have my little, it's like a wine tumbler or whatever, it's Ray Dunn. My sister-in-law bought that for me. This, um, my husband got it for me last year, I think, for Christmas. Whenever you put hot liquid in it, um, it turns into a Beauty and the Beast scene. It's beautiful, I love it, that's my favorite movie Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid and then this one this is a teeny tiny one we bought this for I think it was for my oldest daughter uh, when we went to Lake Tahoe one year we bought this it's so cute it's just, it has little the Tessie Her name's Tahoe Tessie so I like that Amelia likes to drink hot chocolate out of that one it's the perfect size and then I just have my clear one back there. Sometimes I like to be fancy and have my coffee in that. And then my Starbucks um, to-go cup. So that's what that goes there. And then at the top here, these are our thermoses. Um, thermoses that we take to Disney or you know theme parks and stuff. I've got a couple Arctics back there and then Amelia's thermoses for school. And these glasses, my mom bought those back in 2000. I love them, so definitely hanging on to those. And then there's the four of those mason jar um, glasses. And these are just regular drinking glasses. I have six of them. That's plenty enough to keep even when we have company. And these, one of them is in the dishwasher. Um, these are Disney glasses, and my mom started buying these whenever I was about six months old. They are a collector's item, so I've had these ever since I was a baby. And you can see on it, it says 1978. It was their um, Mickey Mouse's birthday or something like that. And I have never used them. They have always been, like in our old house, they were always in the cabinet above the refrigerator. I never used them. I was just afraid somebody would break them. And then I was talking to my mom and I was like, you, would you get mad if I got rid of them? And it took her a while to answer back. And then she said, those are 41 years old. And, um... I'm like, no, they're 42 years old. I'm 42. <laughs> but I told her I was afraid to use them. I didn't want them to break. And she was like, well, who cares if they break? So I'm like, all right, so we're going to start using them. Like I said, one is in the dishwasher because Bella used it. Um, and I, I do keep my, this is my Synthroid medication. I do keep it here because it's right next to the fridge. And I remember it better if it's right there as soon as I open to get a glass or something. So that's all of that. And then this is how the coffee station turned out. I had this tray, 
I used to put it on my bed, but I kind of like it in here better. Um, it's just that way whenever I do need to wipe off the counter, I can just pull it out, wipe behind there, push it all back. And, it, you know, like maybe once a week or something, I'll take everything off and dust it if it needs it. Not a big deal. I like it. I don't ever use this countertop for anything. I never have ever since we moved in. It's always just been something to hold my cookbooks or whatever. So I like it as the coffee station and I love it being over here right next to the fridge. It is a lot nicer than having it across the room like it used to be. I really like how this one turned out. I brought down my Dutch oven. It used to be in the counter or the cabinet above the stove or beside the stove. And it was really hard, you know, cause those suckers are heavy and I wanted to bring it out and put it back over here. But I do have it on the back so that when you pull the drawer out, it's not too heavy on it. And then I just have some more mixing bowls. There are times that I have every single one of those out using it during my meal prep or something like that, or like during Christmas when I'm baking a bunch of cookies. This is my OXO salad spinner. Um, these are our Mickey Mouse popcorn bowls. We had three, one of them was looking pretty rough. So I went ahead and put that in the donate pile, keeping the lids because whenever we do go to Disney, we bring these with us and we get a refill on the popcorn and it's much cheaper to do it that way. And these are little taco stands. I think I already talked about all that. And here is all of my ninja stuff. Um, this is this is my Alec Holmes Immersion Blender. The Alec Holmes sent this to me to review. Absolutely love it. Do not want to get rid of it, even though I have the Ninja. Um, if I don't feel like getting out the huge Ninja part of it, I can get this small part out. Love it. These are all my stainless steel mixing bowls. So I love how that all turned out. It was like this whenever we moved in just from the doors not being open far enough and they try to open that. But like I said, it was like that before we moved in. So, so I have all the glass containers. I did have to nest some of them down inside the other ones. I love this. I love how it turned out. And this is the kids lunch drawer. I kept the two bento boxes, two other containers, their thermos two of Emmy's little cups that she uses here at the house. They're in the dishwasher, so, um, but that's what goes in there. And I was able to move the towels up to the second drawer. And then this is the spoons. I use plastic spoons whenever I pack Amelia's lunch. If I make like soup or something for her or put a yogurt in there, I just use those. That way she can throw it away. I don't have to worry about her throwing away my good silverware or anything. These are little popsicle um, things that we make popsicles with and just all of our silicone molds. And that is it. I did not do under the sink. Um, That'll have to be another time. And now that I'm thinking about it, I did not do the cabinets over the refrigerator. It seems like I decluttered that not long ago, but I know there's some stuff in there that I need to go ahead and get rid of because since then I have not used it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get those out and declutter it. I also need to bring it in here to the dining room. I also need to go through my buffet down under here. I know I have like extra wine glasses, party platters, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get to it in this video, so that'll probably have to be another day. The coffee bar is gone. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I have no idea. I'm not taking it down just yet because I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, but Bella. I bought Bella's desk from her. She saved up her money, bought this desk, and she really hadn't used it that much in her room like she thought she was going to. So I asked her if we could bring it out here, and she said, oh, that's a good idea. 
she can use it her use it out here to do her homework on and stuff but because I'm going to be using it to meal plan and and do things like that I am actually going to buy it from her for what she paid we she literally just got it not long ago so I am going to pay her back for this and because it's going to be more for the whole family. I've always wanted a desk area in the kitchen for meal planning and having my cookbooks and have a computer there and stuff like that. So we're not going to have a chair there. We'll just take one from the table here and I love it. I think it looks really good right there. It fits perfect right there. So I hope you enjoyed this kitchen declutter and if you are wanting to become a minimalist or just kind of minimize things a little bit and start decluttering, you definitely want to stick around and go ahead and subscribe and tap on that bell so you don't miss any of my videos because I have a lot more decluttering videos coming your way. I don't know where I'm going to start next. I think probably the laundry room because it's pretty messy in there under the sink. Um, maybe I'll do the sink in here and the sink in the laundry room in one video. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling. It's not your jeans. Know what you got is deeper within.